Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nico and I'm the founder and CEO of Verve Dev located in Toronto, Ontario. Today we're going to be going over the pros and cons of using either WordPress or using raw code HTML. And by the end of today's video, I'm going to be telling you exactly what I use for my agency and why it works best for me. So without further ado guys, let's get into today's video. So the very first thing that I like to consider when choosing between WordPress or raw code HTML is file size. Are you hosting these websites on your own servers or not? Now I ask this question because if you decide to use WordPress, your file sizes are going to be enormous. There is thousands of files that WordPress requires just to load one page of your website, whereas raw code HTML will only require a few files. So when you make a whole website, that file size gets shot right up to the roof with WordPress. However, However, if file size is not of concern, then this shouldn't bother you whatsoever. In my case, we run all of our own servers and we host like 90% of our clients' websites. So file size is very important to us so we can fit as many clients as we can into our servers. Another big factor to consider in this decision is difficulty. WordPress is a lot easier to use for people that aren't too familiar with programming. Whereas raw code HTML might be actually a lot easier to create a website because you don't have to work within a content management system. So for example, changing an image is as easy as writing one line of code. Whereas on WordPress, you have to log in, you have to go to the pages, you got to go in the page, then edit the image, and it's a lengthier process. But for people that aren't too knowledgeable in programming, it's a lot easier. Another big thing that affects people's decisions when choosing WordPress over raw code HTML is the templates that are available. There's typically a lot more templates available for WordPress than there is for HTML. And that's just because a lot of people that are actually going to be using templates are typically just going to be using it within WordPress because a lot of business owners that try to use WordPress themselves will just go on these marketplaces, pick up a template, install it on WordPress, and they're good to go. Whereas raw code HTML, a lot of the developers are just coding the designs themselves and typically don't use templates. Now that doesn't mean they don't take inspiration from templates. However, we don't typically just install HTML templates. It's way more frequently used within WordPress. Another big factor when choosing WordPress or raw code HTML is the content management system. If you're building websites for clients, then sometimes they want to be able to change stuff on the website themselves. And with WordPress, it's a whole content management system. So they're able to literally change anything they want without having to know a ton about code. With WordPress, you actually have to be pretty knowledgeable as well, because it's not as easy as page builders where you just drag and drop things. You kind of need to know a little bit more about building websites with WordPress. So there is quite a bit of knowledge you have to have in order to even use WordPress. However, another route to take with your clients is also building them a fully managed hosting fee where you take care of their hosting and updates to their website for a monthly fee. In that case, a CMS slash content management system doesn't really matter. Depending on your workflow, we'll pretty much decide whether or not a CMS is right for the situation or not. Now, this is something that really sways people in the direction of WordPress, and that's plugins. With WordPress, there is a ton of plugins available to add functionality to your website, such as a contact form, an appointment booking system, a restaurant ordering system, them. There's tons and tons and tons of plugins that you can add to WordPress that aren't easily accessible with raw code HTML. Now, there are certain plugins that are available with HTML, but then again, that kind of plays into your knowledge of programming because you have to be able to integrate snippets from these plugins into your actual code. So in that case, you do have to know a little bit about programming with websites. And the last thing that I want to touch on today is security. Now, with raw code HTML, there's almost nothing to hack other than the actual hosting of the website itself. Whereas with WordPress, every time you add a plugin to your website, you're adding just another layer of insecurity to your website. Because what happens if that plugin gets corrupted or has some type of link to the creator's website where the creator's website gets hacked and then they can edit the plugin live? There's so many security leaks that can happen with WordPress. There even is a login to the website that can then be hacked where things can be changed. Whereas with raw code HTML, if you're building out all of your programs from scratch and all your features on the website from scratch, there's nothing to hack into other than the actual website's hosting, which is way less than if you have tons and tons of plugins on WordPress, that is a security breach with like every single plugin you add. So in terms of what is more secure, making your own programs and programming everything into HTML is a lot more secure typically. That is also dependent on how good of a programmer you are, because you can build very insecure code that can then be hacked, but that's a whole nother story. And for what you guys have all been waiting for, what does Verve Dev use? So my agency uses raw code HTML for 99% of our 
our websites. Now we do this because as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we run our own servers for our website hosting. And when our clients come onto our servers, we want their file sizes to be between like 10 and 50 megabytes. Whereas WordPress will add a default of like 500 megabytes with no pages added. So just off the bat, if we do raw code HTML, we can allow so many more clients to be hosted on our servers per node. Another reason is we are all programmers. We understand programming. We have knowledge in multiple programming languages, and it's just not difficult at all for us to program our websites from scratch. And in our case, it's actually a whole lot easier to code them from scratch rather than, as I said, logging into WordPress, going to the pages, going to where you want to edit, rather just going in the code and just adding a new line of code or finding the code and just replacing it. It's so much more easier in our case to make those websites. And in terms of plugins, we code all of our software ourselves. I have a team of developers that work on custom software and websites and I have no need to use public plugins unless it's something that I know is fully secure and I know a lot of big companies use them then in that case such as like a live chat I will use their software now one of the biggest questions I get from a lot of my clients as well as people that follow me is how do you get away with doing raw code HTML for clients when they want to make edits to their website and the simple answer to that is we recommend our clients don't make edits to their website and I know that's a very simple way of answering that question, but my business model is fully managed hosting. So for a monthly fee, we take care of their hosting, their custom email accounts and minor changes to their website whenever they want. And for that monthly fee that we're charging, it really doesn't make a huge difference to our clients. They love the ability to just send us an email and have a change done whenever they want without having to worry about trying to be a web developer. And it's a win-win. They don't have to worry about anything with their website breaking or being insecure or looking bad. They get a professional team that's devoted to working on their website. And in my case, I really reap the financial reward of that. Now there are circumstances where I will consider using WordPress. And the biggest one that I can tell you is e-commerce. Don't reinvent the wheel when it comes to e-commerce. WooCommerce on WordPress is like the biggest tool for utilizing an e-commerce functionality on a website. We're not going to charge a client thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to build an e-commerce platform when there's already one available. So that's the case where we will use WordPress just because it makes more economic sense, both for our clients as well as us. And we know it works and we don't have to worry about about any bugs that we create from reinventing the wheel. And in that case, our clients are typically happy with templates and stuff like that. So it pretty much saves time on both ends and everyone's happy. And we still offer fully managed hosting because once again, they don't want to deal with breaking their own website. In a later video, I'm going to get into why hosting a website is such a great business to get into and how it's going to create monthly revenue for your web design agency. It's going to be something that changes the way you look at web design and the business as a whole. And we'll get into that in a later video. But as for today, I hope you guys loved today's video. Please don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, ask me any questions you want, what you guys want to see in the next video. And please do not forget to subscribe because I'm going to try to pump out these videos like crazy. And I hope you guys enjoy all of them because I'm really working hard on these videos. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned a lot from today and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.